Well, Johnny, first of all, what I mean, what's the last couple of days been like for you since since that game on Friday? Yeah, it's been great. Um, just had loads of messages from the club and the family, so it's been really nice for me um, over the last two days. And uh, now looking forward to Tuesday. So, uh, dream come true on Friday night, um, and I'm really looking forward to the next game now. I, th I saw in the week where you'd said, you know, if it didn't happen for you on on Friday, then maybe Croatia, the next one, you were just itching to get out there. Um, uh, what was the feeling like when obviously you found Gareth Bale wasn't coming out for the second half, you were coming on, um, how did you feel? Yeah, it was a weird feeling. I didn't really feel too nervous because um, we were 1-0 down at the, at the time, so we had nothing to lose really, we just had to go for it. Um, and once I got on the pitch, it was just 22 players and a normal game of football and I uh, loved every minute of it. Um, hopefully next time I'll be playing with Bale though, that'd be nice. You, you, you say you loved every minute of it, I mean you seem to settle down quickly you're away from home hostile atmosphere one nil down difficult circumstances but you didn't seem phased at all no I think um, the, the club experience at Palace uh, has really helped me with that kind of atmosphere um, I've played in a few derbies now um, at my club with Cholton and Brighton and I think that's helped me deal with the situation I was brought into on Friday night and the experience I've had at Wales um, so I think that helped me deal with that in, in terms of the quality of football as well I mean I I can't remember a Welsh team dominating in terms of possession, especially away from home like that, and the style of play. I mean, did that make it easy to fit in into fit for yourself? Yeah, well, I've been with the squad a few times, uh, three times, so I've had the privilege to train with the likes of Bellamy and Bale and Ramsey, um, but to actually play with them in the match um, was different class, and the angles they give you, um, they're great players to play with, and I really enjoyed it. So. In, in terms of a fantastic win, um, I'm sure you've looked at it back again. One one piece, I suppose, you, you, you've seen and maybe thinking, I wish I hadn't seen that. Was this the challenge on the end, edge of the penalty area where you seem to be catapulted up in the air and landed on your neck, really? Yeah, um, I've seen it again. Um, it was quite sore. It's been quite sore the last two days. Um, I think I was quite fortunate um, not to do any more damage, but um, luckily um, I'm OK. And, not too injured, uh, just a bit of a sore neck. So um, yeah, it's a bit of a tumble. I'm uh, okay. That's, that's good. That's good news. Obviously, looking forward now to the game against Croatia. So you, 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 you uh, would hope hope to be involved there. In, in terms of the the group of players, I mean, exciting time to be involved. I mean, yourself very young, but it's a it's a young squad. A lot of young players there. So looking ahead to the future, I mean, you'll be playing with a few of these players for for quite a long time to come. Yeah, well, that's great. Uh, the great thing about Welsh football at the moment is a lot of young players coming through and a lot of players have already made their establishment in the Premier League but Alan, Ramsey are uh, still very young so it's great to see and it's great to see the 21s doing well as well on Friday so uh, that's just great for Welsh football and I'm looking forward to the future definitely. Three wins from four, I suppose everybody goes into the game on Tuesday now, it's, I mean it's a difficult game obviously because Croatia are a good side but everybody goes into that game in, in good shape and, and, and feeling confident. Yeah definitely, um, three wins and four is great. Um, as if if it was Palace, it'd be promotion form. So um, yeah, no, it's it's really good for Wales. Um, hopefully, have Bell uh, 100 percent on Tuesday. That'll be a great boost, and uh, I'll be looking forward to playing with him for sure. So he's a uh, unbelievable. So. In, in in terms of you know, you mentioned Gareth Bale. I mean, you would hope to be playing against someone like Gareth Bale week in week out next season with with Palace in the Premier League, wouldn't you? Yeah, that'd be great. Um, still a long way to go with eight games left, but. We're doing well. Um, just looking forward to the running now. Um, as I said, uh, it'd be a dream come true to make my Welsh debut. I said that about a week ago, and to get promoted to the Premier League. So I've I've done one of them. It's just the next one now. So, in terms of yourself growing up, I mean, who was it? Who, who were the players you looked up to? Who were the teams you looked up to? Uh, I looked up to Zola as a sporting Chelsea when I was a kid. Uh, I looked up to Zola and uh, Wayne Routledge as a Palace point of view, coming through the ranks since I was eight and watching the team uh, Routledge was doing very well and a young player so he's been there since I, I've been there since I was eight so it's a good role model to look at as well. I suppose for yourself I'm just thinking of Palace with Dougie Friedman thinking of uh, obviously with, with the Wales set up in terms of what's happening there the emphasis seems to be both at club and at, at international level the emphasis is on youth. Yeah uh, I think it's very important to get a good mix uh, we've definitely got that in the Welsh set up and I think it really helps with the likes of you've got more experienced players 
that have played uh, a lot of games like Collins and uh, Williams is still young but he's played a lot of games as well um, but it's great to get a good mix and it's good for the team and we've got that at Palace as well so I think it can only help with a good mix of youth and older players so. In terms of just this group seven points behind a win on, on Tuesday would make a massive difference do the players still feel that qualification is, is achievable in, in this campaign or, or do, do people look at it do players look at it more long term? Yeah, definitely. I think um, we're in the. We've got five games to go, uh, with seven points off. If we win on Tuesday, who knows what can happen? So yeah, definitely the win on Friday night definitely put us up uh, back in the running um, of things. We're still quite a way behind, but who knows what can happen? Uh, six six points, and we'll see. We'll see. So. Okay, let's hope so, and uh, well done on 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 Friday. Thanks a lot. Cheers, guys.